Hello Cyphers community and welcome back to another room paints console video. So in this video I'm gonna be playing the Stockade IS3. And yeah, so this tank is basically what the I what you think the IS3A is going to be. So this is a auto-loading IS3, which is quite nice to have. It's pretty fun to play. And it is also um on the earn up for Battle of Stal Stalingrad. It is 900 points, and it's actually a pretty dang good tank. Um, this is a tier 10 match I'm going to be in, and I'm going to pretty much show you how to play this tank when you're in a tier 10 match, and show how effective it can be. So, since we're in a tier 10 match, what kind of penetration does this tank get? 221 on its standard and 270 on its premium, doing 390 damage per shot, with 3 shots and a clip. So potential damage is nearly 1200 damage and there's a general that's going to put that i'm going to put all three shots into it and i'm going to get literally shredded by the other tanks now i'm down to 112 hit points as you can see my armor didn't really hold up because tier 10 is shooting at tier 8 your armor is not really going to hold up <laughs> so yeah now i just got to think what can i do I just gotta play support pretty much this entire match and yeah so speaking of the armor the whole armor is 110 at the front 90 at the sides and 60 at the rear the 110 at the front is angled but not good enough for tier 10 uh penetration to yeah so the turret armor is actually pretty thick it is quite thick it's 249 at the front, 172 at the sides, and 100 at the rear. So if you manage to get hold down, which I'm trying to do right here, you can actually do pretty nicely in this tank. But remember, I am an auto loader. I'm in the bottom tier matchup. Let's play an auto loader like it should be. Fall back around a corner while reloading, and when you're loaded, you pop around a corner and put three shots into them. So, yeah. So basically how I'm going to play the rest of this match is I'm just going to let my tier 10s take the shot. When it's time, I'm going to pop around the corner when the enemy's reloading or they're distracted. And I'm going to put some shells into them. Basically what I'm going to do because I'm down to 112 and try to watch my positioning on this map. And try to not get myself kill and notice i have not switched over to premium rounds yet because you don't really need it if you know weak points and stuff like that 221 millimeters of penetration is quite all right there is the side of the 263 that i was managing to be able to punch through i got three standard rounds left um the tank does run out of ammunition pretty quickly but as it only gets 32 rounds um, aim time is 3.2 seconds, which is terrible with an inner cliff reload of 3 seconds. Its accuracy sucks at 0.46. Wow, that's a really bad accuracy. Um, but shell velocity on your standard round is 1,400, which is quite interesting. So here, I'm going to put a shot into the 263's lower plate, and yeah. Now I'm out of standard, and now I'm just loading my premium, because very far premium than my high explosive at this point in time because my standard was doing the job for me and i'm just going to load the premium because yeah so now i'm just going to reload waiting and since the e100 just fired not really aiming at me and he's dead and now i'm just going to put a sneaky shot into this 263 slower plate which the second shot managed to derp on top of the upper plate of the 263 so this tank is actually kind of fun. It is pretty good. It's one of the few IS-3s that I actually like because they're out of letter. The problem is you run out of standard round. You run out of ammunition pretty quickly because you are auto loader. But overall, this is a very fun tank. Didn't really get to show you how the armor would work in this game because we were in a tier 10 match, but it works as good as that I IS-3. And it's decently strong armor. Anyway, that's it for this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to subscribe because we're watching that. And peace out. See ya.